Dave Ellswick at Freedom Fest. Glad to have you along for the ride. Matt Welsh from, of course, Reason Magazine, the editor of the, uh, the magazine. Dick Gillespie is going to be on sometime tomorrow, or we'll get him on, on video uh, later on this weekend at 12. We'll put him up on KARNewsradio.com for you. Of course, he is behind uh, Reason.com and Reason.tv. We want to talk about the new book that they've written together. And it's really, really good. I've read it over the Patriot Tour, and, and Matt, congratulations on really spelling out for people what liberal, you know, libertarianism is all about and, and giving them a view of how that thought process can save this nation. Thank you very much. It's uh, nice to hear. Yeah, t talk a little bit about that. Why, why you and Nick wrote this book. Why now? Well, for one, we're in kind of a pickle <laughs> as a country. Yeah, that's an understatement, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, and uh, there's a, a, an argument to be had that right now, unless we start embracing some, don't even call it libertarian, but just sort of uh, basic notions of limited government. Or, or common, common sense. Common sense. Right now, we're not going to be able to get out of what is becoming kind of a dead spiral of crisis, not just at the federal level, but local state level as well. So part of it is in response to that, but it's also uh, an acknowledgement of something that's been happening in the last 40 years and the last 10 specifically, which is that we've seen this huge rise of political independence, people who do not feel any sense of affinity with the Democratic or Republican Party. So this is traditionally portrayed as a terrible thing. It just shows that these people are ignorant and, and, uh, and it's awful. We argue that it's a good thing and it's actually a way to more quickly get the kind of policies that we as a country want, but our politicians won't give us. How do we do get that to happen with the power that these two parties have built in? I mean, it's almost impossible for other parties to even get on the ballot. We're, it's true that, I mean, first we have a two-party system, we just do. It's a, a kind of constitutionally written. And yes, those two parties write the rules of their yes, competitors, and that is a disgrace. I don't think that that's going to change anytime soon, unfortunately. However, the, the key is, how can we make them work for us or stop working against us? And one of the ways I, uh, we talk about in the book from a strategic point of view. We compare, compare the Tea Party movement and its successes with the anti-war Howard Dean movement and its ultimate failures and now non-existence. And what, what were the differences there? A huge difference was the Tea Party refused to be Republican. Even though it's a right of center movement, a lot of Republicans are part of it, they participate in Republican politics, but they say we will ra we'd rather nominate or back a crazy person who has no chance of winning an election if that crazy person is better on the one issue that we care about, the single issue that we have focus on, which is limiting the size and scope of government, period. Um, we will back that person. That's more important to us than the notion of winning another election against a Democrat. And so because of that and sticking to that notion, they have maintained and kept their strength. The Howard Dean anti-war movement, on the other hand, got completely co-opted within the Democratic Party. Dean became the chairman of the Democratic National Committee. Um, everyone went into uh, the anti-war candidate Barack Obama, and now there is no more anti-war movement on the left. So the future of politics, including people we disagree with, will be people who recognize that if you become a bought vote, if you become a dependable vote, they stop listening to you. So how do you make that work? How do you make them work for us? That's the future. All right, so the way to figure it all out is you read this book, The Declaration of Independence. If you read that book, you'll understand a lot more. Matt Welsh, of course, from Reason Magazine. Matt, thanks a lot. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.